Namaste beautiful yogis, welcome to Ali Kamenova Yoga, I'm Ali and today we're doing a leg and booty day. We are going to dedicate uh, a, a class in this 30 day program to um, the lower body. Of course when you work on legs it really boosts your metabolism, it's large muscles um, uh, and it boosts your metabolism for the rest of the day so it's very beneficial and we cannot have a 30 day program uh, without a class dedicated to leg day. Of course, there is legs in most classes, but uh, this, is, uh, this is specifically dedicated to legs. For this class, you're going to need one little prop that most people have around the house. Um, for me, it will be this edge of the couch, either a chair, an ottoman, a table. If it's a table, you may want to lay a little blanket or a pillow on it because you're gonna place your back on it uh, or a couch that will work obviously perfectly uh, edge of a bed etc work with your environment and uh, remember to flow with love strength and ease all right starting with side to side crossing you're going to cross your mat or jump or hop from side to side lengthwise and bring the breath in core in warming up now we're gonna bring the arms in so as you uh, jump you're gonna cross to your right with your right leg and reach over with your left arm creating um, a long line and change and change really lengthen here change the whole point is to lengthen the sides feel your back also stretching shoulders obliques Great, from here step onto the right right leg and we're going to draw a circle with the left and leave the leg behind. Left leg draws a circle and leaves behind diagonally. So you're working, when we work on the body, we work on um, the glutes, the gluteus maximus, medius, uh, minimus. <laughs> so you're going to work on the hip area here. Let's go one, two, three, four, five, six. This is still part of the warm up. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great. From here, we're going to ballet style, step onto the right side and reach diag diagonally back and out to the side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 opposite sides, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great. Now we're gonna press straight back. You can hold on to something, you don't have to. Straight back so that we're engaging the hamstrings as well and activating the glutes, of course. One, two, three, four, five six, seven, eight, nine, ten opposite side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Change one more time, really isolating the glute squeezing. 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Change. Five, six, seven, nine, and ten. Great. Now starting with a squat. Squat. Lift the toes. Drop the. Lift the heels. Drop the heels. Come up. One, two, three. Belly in. Mula Bandha. Squats are really powerful for strengthening the pelvis. I'm just giving you the more unorthodox benefits from squats. We all know they, that they're absolutely powerful for, um, for quads and hamstrings and booty, core. One more. Great. Moving in with squat meets oblique. Squat, and you're going to lift the right leg, the knee bent out and slightly, slightly back. Not straight out, you're going to have a little bit of an angle here, slightly, five to ten degrees back and opposite side. It's not by much, but it's not directly out, so that we can target the muscles better. Great. Now we're gonna add a hop, and the hop is optional, of course, because I want to keep this all levels throughout the series. Even if you get challenged, it will remain about all levels. We're all a little bit individually um, different, so if something challenges you, you can come back to it, adapt it, and strengthen through it. So we're gonna. Hop, but if you don't want to hop, of course, you can come up, kick back, hop, kick back. So now we're kicking back, feeling the hamstrings. One, two, three, push the booty back, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now we're gonna go to the couch and lay the upper back on the couch or whatever prop you're using. Ottoman, etc. And step onto your right foot, press into your heel uh, with intention. And we're going to lift and bring the left knee in. You can extend the leg. One, engage the core. Two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, opposite side. One, two, three, four, five, six. If you squeeze, this will be very effective. Last one, change. We're gonna do three. Sets one, two, three. Isometric squeezes, four. They're not really isometric, but really squeeze. Last one, change. One. Two, 
focused. Flexing four, five, six, seven, eight, oof, nine, ah, oh, ten. Last, last set. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Change left side. Really press through the heel here. Initiating that posterior chain. Flexion, flexing. Ten. Woo. Your body should be very sore. Hamstrings as well, that's the ultimate. All right, we'll continue with the squat with the side leg lift. I want us to really work on, on the obliques. Take a squat alignment. Always work with your toes. I find my yoga to socks to, be, to stick really well, so, and they're warm for winter. So I love them, but they do feel like bare feet. So those are not shoes. They're just socks with sil silicone stickies under one and, and lift two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we're gonna squat and bring the right knee in and really crunch crunch forward flex two four five six seven eight nine 10, side to side bends, clasping and reaching to one side, lengthening both sides of the torso, look up, change, side, side lunge, we're going to bend the right knee, and reach towards or touch the floor on the inside of the right foot and come up, lift, lift the left leg. Two, straight back, three, push the hips back, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine and ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Right side. This time we're gonna go into side lunge and lift opposite elbow to knee two three four five six seven eight nine and ten change one two Four, five, push the hips back, six, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Circular motion movement. We're going to circle the hips. Nice smooth breath. Change. Figure it with the hips. And we're gonna go into, again, two options. You can jump or you can take the no, jump, no jumping um, option, no impact, <clears throat> no impact option will be side to side um, lunge. I want you to really push the hips back, straighten the back and open the chest. Really push the hips back where you, your knees are pushing back. Focus on that. Try not to perfect moves too much because that tends to bring tension in the body. So the more we practice, the more we intuit the moves and they, we do study alignment, but also we study or we allow ourselves to feel the body and to adjust according to the body so that we're moving intuitively uh, instead of when there is too much focus on perfect alignment, sometimes we're just ignoring the body. So even though I'm saying push the hips back, don't create tension when you do it, just push them with uh, fluidity. All right, otherwise we're gonna just do the jumping uh, land jumps. Let's go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20. Last one, last exercise standing. Stepping onto the right leg. We are going to do a cross lunge, cross back lunge, and either lift here or hop. Whichever one you prefer to do. Let's go one, two again, same thing. Push the hips back. Four, five, six, seven, ten, opposite side. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, great, ten. And you can come down to a seated pose <clears throat> for a twist. Left hand to the right knee, look behind, keep the back wide and open. Change. One more. change side to side so you're going to glide the right hand out turn the inner elbow forward the elbow pulls in towards you opens the shoulder drop the left hip down feel the stretch along the obliques change And we are done. Now, if you have a particularly energetic day, you skipped the day yesterday or some, something, or you're just energetic and this is short for you, go to the beginning, start over. It was fast paced. You can do it one more time, the whole routine. Otherwise, it's perfectly, perfectly enough. This is enough. That's what I try to emphasize in a lot of the shorter classes, that they're enough. Um, 
sometimes we get too caught up in the perfection of doing so much that we actually don't do 10 20 minute workouts because we perceive them as not enough when in fact they are enough and they get us keep us in the flow they're also good it's good to alternate different days so with that being said <laughs> this is enough if you want to do it one more time and it's a very energetic day for you you have a lot of energy go to the front and get started again and remember to share these videos give them a like um, a subscribe and also push the notifications also find me on other social media because I do share there a lot and I'll um, link all the uh, additional material and links below and I'll see you tomorrow with another class namaste